Valerie Greenwell, and welcome to Quilt Artistry. As I'm getting things set up in my new studio, I thought this would be a great time um, to do a little tutorial explaining how to connect an external monitor to your Statler computer and get it to display with the same settings that you have on your uh, regular monitor. So um, let me go through a little bit about what it is that you need uh, and then we'll um, talk about how to set it up. Um, so of course, you will need to make sure that your Statler computer um, has an HDMI connection on the back of it. Uh, some of the older ones may not, so you'll have to double check. If it doesn't have one, um, depending on your model of computer, you may or may not be able to add one. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and so, uh, so you'll have to have the HDMI capability on your Statler computer. You will need to purchase separately um, an HDMI capable um, monitor or TV. Now I chose to go with the 55 inch uh, flat screen TV um, because I thought that would give me the most bang for my buck. Uh, this TV behind me I want to say is a 55 inch and I think I spent maybe about $400 on it. It's a Samsung brand. Um, I went with one that had a higher resolution uh, because I didn't want things to be fuzzy on the screen. Um, you know, you can look through the different options and see which ones you think will work for you. Um, the next thing is you're going to need a long HDMI cable. Um, now, depending on the distance from where you're going to hang uh, your new uh, monitor or TV to where your computer system is, you may very well find that you need somewhere between um, a 30 or 40 length ca uh, foot cable. Um, I, I believe mine is about 35 or 40 feet. Um, and uh, what you need to account for is the distance from behind the TV down to the floor, all the way from underneath, like on the floor to that, all the way to the wall, behind the computer and then from the from the wall back to the front of the computer um so uh or to the back of the computer so that you can plug it in you know so that's a considerable uh amount of length to have to tend with um and i want to say what i spent on my hdmi cable was somewhere in the neighborhood of 65 dollars in order to get one that was long enough um, and there are not a lot of options out there um, when you're talking about cables that long. That's a very long stretch to be able to, um, you know, put your, your monitor out. Now, if you, I, I wanted my monitor on the far right hand side, but if you're putting yours somewhere closer to the middle uh, of your Sattler, then you're, you're not going to need near as much cable, um, and there may very well be some, some better options available. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so let me, um, let me get my camera turned around on the computer, and we will talk about, first of all, um, how to set it up on the computer, how to connect it, and how to get this monitor to mirror what you already see on this one. Uh, so let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm over here in front of my Statler and uh, I'm looking at the monitor that I have hung on the wall. Uh, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do uh, is make sure that you have a wall mount or some way to uh, hang your TV or place it where it is that you want it. Um, follow whatever your regular instructions are for hanging it or mounting it. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure that you, uh, you get your power cord plugged in and then you get your HDMI cord also plugged into the pack and drop those lines down. Um, plug your power cord into the wall and then uh, if cables bother you, you're going to want to get some sort of a cable management system. Uh, I haven't got that far with, uh, with my setup yet. I'm sure I will 
um, in the future because I don't like looking at the little bundle of cords. Um, but uh, so anyway, uh, once you get your uh, once you get your HDMI cable plugged into the back of the TV, you're going to run it down to the floor, and uh, I'm going to run home. Um, probably underneath my window because I don't want it close to my baseboard uh, heat. Uh, so I will run mine along the window and I'll probably pin that up with um, uh, some kind of cable clips or a cord concealer or some kind of a track and then run it down to the floor um, right here at the end of my machine. Um, so here you'll see I've got uh, my HDMI uh, cord is this big heavy black one here. Um, so you're going to run that all the way around to the back of your Statler computer. Okay, now um, I'm looking at the back of my computer and one thing that I want to say um, is that sometimes, depending um, on uh, what model computer you have, Sometimes it can be hard to tell the difference between the HDMI and the USB slots. So make sure that you are looking at the HDMI slots and not a USB because they will not fit um, and it won't work. So uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can. This right here just happens to be my HDMI. And you can see this is a much... Uh, it's very similar in shape to you to a USB, except it has that little round edge on one side. Um, and you can see I have two HDMI slots right there. Um, so I'm going to plug this in. And you want to make sure that it's firmly plugged in all the way. Um, and... Uh, uh, just to make sure that you get a good connection. Okay, so once you have your monitor connected, then you're going to want to get your remote or whatever it is that you use to control the settings um, on the TV, and you're going to want to go to the source, okay? You select source, and then you will go to where it says PC, okay? And then you select that and it will come up on the screen. Now, I'm looking at this screen. Let me zoom out here. I'm looking at this screen and I can see that this is my computer, but it's not showing me um, everything that I want to see. So we're going to make a little bit of a change to that. Let me come back over to the... Um, to the regular monitor on the where the computer's hooked up and we're gonna make a few adjustments um, on the computer. Okay, so I'm here at my Gamble computer and what I'm gonna do is take my mouse and do a right click and then I'm gonna come down to where it says display settings and now I'm gonna look at the screen and it's showing us, let me zoom out a little bit, it's showing us two monitors. You see the big one uh, that I just added, and then you see the little one. I want both screens to pick up um, what is on my computer at the same time. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom here and see where it says extend these displays. I'm going to go to the option above that that says duplicate these screens. Now, both monitors are going to function as one. And you click apply, and it's going to ask me, do you want to keep these changes? Keep these changes. Okay, now let me zoom out here. Okay, so then when you're finished with that, you just close out of that screen. Now, let's open up CS. All right, now let's take a look over at the big monitor. And looky there, both are connected. Both are showing the exact same thing. So that is how that is done. 
I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me and let me know. Thanks for uh, hanging out with Quilt Artistry today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Mm -hmm.